Millions of us put our precious children on those bright yellow school buses every morning, and now some of those kids, some of those buses are getting a big assist from artificial intelligence because the technology is being used to help tackle major bus driver shortages. Meg Oliver visited one district in Colorado that could become a model nationwide. Meg, I've been skeptical about this, but it's promising so far. So far, so good. Good morning, Tony. Last year, there were more than 190,000 bus drivers nationwide in K-12 schools. That's down about 15% since 2019. But this new AI software shows real promise in helping districts solve the crisis. Every morning, single dad Ezekiel Bosser has just enough time to feed his fifth grade son Desmond oh, thank you. and drive him to school before work. But when school's over, there's no aftercare or school bus to pick him up. The nationwide school bus driver shortage has persisted in many areas, including here in Colorado Springs, District 11. How hard is it to find school bus drivers? It's extremely hard. We offer training, we've offered higher salaries, and yet we just can't find a candidate pool. <laughs> At the beginning of the school year, Superintendent Michael Gall had a budget for 110 bus drivers, but only 60 showed up. To find a solution, they shifted gears and partnered with RouteWise Artificial Intelligence. And they told us that there's at least 10 to 20 percent of the students that you're transporting that you could optimize the way that you transport them based upon the limitations that you have. The rideshare company Hop Skip Drive developed the AI technology they're testing here. Joanna McFarland is their CEO. So how does it work? It looks at every vehicle available. So it's looking at buses, sedans, vans, and looking at each school and determining what are the most effective routes. How long does it take to analyze a school district's needs? Um, it can run a first draft in, in hours and, and come up with something over the weekend. Now, District 11 only needs about 55 bus routes and... Hi, Desmond. Hello. Supplements with rideshare services, which use specially trained employees. The company say drivers go through rigorous background checks. They pick up students... Here you go, Zelda. ...like Desmond and his carpool buddy Zelda, who live in outlying areas. I get a text message knowing that he's been picked up, a text message saying that he's been dropped off, and then, you know, I don't have to worry about it. If we didn't have it, my dad would, either my dad would have to leave work or I'd have to walk home, which wouldn't be fun. After eight months of using the AI software, District 11 says it's cut the number of bus routes by nearly half, increased on-time arrivals, and boosted driver pay. If you didn't have this AI software in place, what would happen to those students, especially in outlying areas? Uh, they'd get left behind twice. Once they get left behind by transportation, and then two, they'd get left behind by the lack of instruction and educational opportunity. According to Hop Skip Drive, it would cost about $50,000 for a school district the size of D11 to use that AI tool. Just this past year, the software has saved the district more than half a million dollars. Wow. And Superintendent Gall tells us that allowed him to protect positions of at least 10 teachers. That's incredible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, innovative. Yeah. I mean, so AI has hallucinated. I've, I've done <laughs> mapping with AI before and it's made mistakes, but you, you're not seeing that here. They did. I mean, after a year, this district has bought in 110 percent. They're doing it next year. They're partnering with about 20 other districts across the country. And so far, they're seeing that, you know, in these outlying areas, if they send these rideshare services in, that seems to be more effective. Beautiful. It's really interesting yeah. that it, get, it cre uh, gets rid of those inefficiencies mm -hmm. that already existed and allows that pay to be something at least worthwhile for the people who are driving our kids. Yep. Yeah. Protecting real people. That's right. Real yes. people. Thank you, Meg.